Good afternoon and welcome to Heritage Hour. Heritage Hour is the production of God's Heritage Evangelical. Today we are going to look into Jesus Christ and Jericho. Jesus Christ and Jericho. Actually it's, it looks or sounds a little odd when we hear of Jericho as a city and then we begin to think of Christ the Redeemer, the Messiah, the salvation of humanity. What are we trying to infer from this, Jesus Christ and Jericho? It is because so many situations in life, uh, or rather would I say the city Jericho is a metaphor for situations of children of God who are on migration or on transit in this world. And so when I ask you, are you in Jericho? You might find it difficult to answer, but through the scriptures this evening, we'll be able to know what particular stage of our, of our you know, existence in the world we are in. Are we in the beginning? Are we in the wilderness of it? Are we in the Jericho aspect of it? Are we in the Gilgar aspect of our journey, which is a step? closer to the promised land where the reproach will be taken away or are we in Jericho now let us go through these scriptures but let me remind you what happened in Jericho in the Old Testament immediately after Gilgad the first place the Israelites were to enter was Jericho and they had to make preparations God gave them specific instructions the spies had to go into Jericho two of them the, you remember how Rahab was able to save the spies and for that reason her descendants were not annihilated by the invading uh, Israelite armies. In the same way, after the destruction of Jericho, Joshua laid a curse on that city and to the effect that if anybody that would re rebuild Jericho would lose the first one and the last one. And it happened precisely in the reign of Ahab, the king of Israel. Now, let us look at Jesus' ministry and Jericho, and we will be able to understand what I mean by Jesus Christ and Jericho. Um, we are taking our reading from Luke chapter 19, and we are reading from verse 1. And I read, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. We are talking of Jericho here and if you read this particular portion and compare it to what you have also in other areas in the Bible where Jesus had to pass through Jericho you will notice that Jesus like in Mark chapter 10 verse 46 Jesus never performed any miracle in Jericho even to preach he didn't the Bible will tell you that Jesus entered and left you will see him enter and leave. He would not perform miracles. He would not preach to people. But there is always one thing. There are two or three things that we have to grab in this message concerning Jericho so that you will be able to relate it with your own life. One, in Jericho there are always multitude of people multitude in Mark chapter 10 verse 46 you will see body males who was blind and always begging you can beg anywhere other than where you have people and when he started crying and shouting because he heard that Jesus was passing that way Jesus was said to have entered Jericho there and left Jericho and this was a man who had been believing God that one day it would be well for him and Learning that the son of David was passing that way, he lifted his voice to cry. But the multitude wanted to stop him, just like the man we read in Luke chapter 19. He could not read Jesus Christ, one, because he was shot. He was a very, very short man. He had limitations by heart. Two, because of the press. If you go through the word of God and in, in various translations, that word press is the action of the multitude or action of the crowd. That means there were so many people there. So 
crowds in Jericho are always a limitation to you are reaching Christ. That is why miracles never happen in Jericho. Preachings never happened in Jericho. Are you in Jericho or are you with Christ today? We will see what happened. Remember, you cannot help God to reach you. You cannot help God. This man was rich, a publican, and known to many people, but he had limitation, the height. That limitation he wanted to, going by the, the Jewish law, you have to help God. By going through to climb a sycamore tree, Zacchaeus wanted to help God. He wanted to reach God. But no, that's not what God has for us today. We want to know what God has for us today, not in the past. And that's why in the Old Testament, in the Bible, just like in so many religions of the world, people struggle to reach God. You will fast, you will pray, you will sacrifice, you will do this, and you will do that. All kinds of rituals in all religions of the world. That is what people continue doing. Let us see what Zacchaeus did. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press because he was little of stature. Look at it. First of all, because of the press, because of the crowd, he couldn't reach Jesus. This was, this happens in Mexico, in Jericho, sorry. And again, because he was in, in short of stature, and, and then he could not. There are two major reasons. I don't know the limitations that you have. Are you an atheist, an agnostic? A scientist and you believe there's no God go back to the time you were in your mother's womb go back to the time if you are even a, a scientist go and study human physiology and anatom anatomy and you will see how ridiculous human beings were when they have they were about to be formed and you begin to ask yourself how did I come to be who I am today and begin to resist God and say there is no God we will continue this message in part two and i hope that you would listen very carefully and god will begin to speak to your situation even as we pray in jesus name father my brothers and sisters are listening to your word Imutu redeemer begin to sanctify them begin to open great and marvelous revelations unto them and let them understand your word and let it sit down into their lives and let them be saved let every child of yours that is receiving your word today be healed of every any type of infirmity because your word said you are the god that healed us thank you immortal redeemer brother sister go to www.godsheritageevangelical.org and also have a copy of the bible read it make sure you go to a bible believing church god bless you in jesus mighty name we pray. Amen.